Now this is a radial drill. And believe it or not, this is the manual version. Although it does have many different power features. Down, up. What makes this a manual machine is the fact that the, the radial action of it is done manually by me. But you can see it moves quite easily. Even the linear action on the drill head. Again, it's manual, but incredibly easy. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bailey RD-1000M. Now that I've got the machine in position, there are three different locks. The first one on the column base here, you lock this, and that keeps the radial arm from swinging. The second, of course, is on the up-down action of the radial arm itself. And what's cool is once you engage this double cam lock, there's a micro switch inside here that actually switches off and doesn't allow you to raise or lower the head anymore. The third is the drill head itself. This, pull down, locks it, now we're ready to drill. The next thing I'm gonna show you on this machine is the gear selectors. If you look at the left side of the drill head here, there are two different gear levers. There's a couple different combinations and ultimately it gives you six different gears. On the right side of the drill head, here's another gear selector. This one controls your power feed. For the purpose of this demonstration, I've taken the liberty of putting it in the highest spindle speed and power feed ratios this machine has. Makes for a good visual. Start the spindle, and I'm actually going to manually drive the spindle down and then engage the power feed. And once it reaches the bottom of its desired depth, it will automatically turn the machine off. Getting real close, right about now. Release the power feed, and you have to manually return the spindle. It's really quite simple. The spindle does feature an MT4 taper, as well as there is a safety guard on the machine. If it does get open for any such reason, it will shut the machine down. Also included with this machine is this box table that is adjustable on the foot of the machine, as well as a built-in coolant pump and reservoir. The voltage for this machine here in the United States is 220 volt three phase. For everybody else in the rest of the world, 400 volt three phase. For more information on this machine and complete specifications, it's simple. Visit us at bailey.com.